So go for it, Raul. Can it help us? All right. So if you guys have any questions for Tommy, you guys can come on up and line up over here. Who's going to be first? And by the way, do you guys want to have someone from Santa Cruz do a little monologue for us? Do you guys want to do that? Yeah. All right. So we have this one actor. Who is he? He's right there. I, I'm putting him in the spot. He, he says he, he has a talent. We see what kind of talent he is. Come on. Uh, it's, it's a raw, it's, it's not a rehearsal whatsoever. Come on, man. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Tommy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so your name is? My name is Jonathan Zell. Okay, Jonathan, what, what do you would do for us? Imagine you're in Hollywood right now, you have a audition, and you have a job for two million dollars. Give us something what we never see before, and you have only one minute to do it. So what I would suggest is turn around like me two times. One, yeah. turn around. One, two, perfect. And let us know when you're ready. You have two minutes. Are you ready for performance of your life? Yes. For two million dollars, go. Lewis, your problem is that you are so full of piping hot crap that the mention of your name draws flies yeah. up in the air, just like yeah. that angel too far off the earth to make out the details. I believe in an angel. Yes, continue. <laughs> Lewis and his big ideas. Yes, Lewis is vampire. Yeah. Oh, yes. Big ideas. America is what Lewis loves. Yes, but he doesn't have no money. That's why he sucked the blood from people. Lewis! <laughs> well, I hate America, Lewis. I, I hate this country. It's just big ideas and stories and people dying and, and people like you. Yeah. Very nice. Good job. I like the story about Lewis. Thank you. Really Thank you. I think you qualified to go to Hollywood to grab his two million dollars. That yes. means, hey, that means so much to me. Yeah, you did a good job. Very, Thank good, you very so much. much. Good imagination. Move on. We we'll start a Q and A. Woo! We know the story about Lewis. And remember, Lewis was a vampire. We watch it and tonight. Maybe they eat you, uh, blood your sock, whatever, suck your blood. Never mind that. But okay, start a QA. Awesome. Hi, I'm Elijah. I'm a huge, long time fan of yours. I just want to ask everybody's question here why are you so goddamn awesome? Yeah, because you're awesome too. We go back and forth, man. Vice versa. Move on. Woo! Woo! And by the way, I want to say I love you all, guys. Thank you for coming. In 2020, hopefully it'll be the best year of, my, of your life. Yeah. And I want to say always, you're better than internet. And remember, I always say you have two doors, right? Remember, we have two doors. One door is a happy door, and the other one is happy door. Think yeah. about it. Yeah. All right, next question. Uh, and 10 more minutes, quick. Uh, long time fan. Thank you for um, speeches, but go for it. I was wondering, um, what advice do you have for young filmmakers looking to go, looking to go into directing? Just think positive, do original items, whatever you do, and don't borrow from the room, but you can <laughs> reference to the room, that's fine. Think don't about it. Will. Yes, the writing, producing, that's what you should do immediately, man. Yes, go for it. When can we see Big Shark? Big Shark, we're working on it, so hopefully we see June, July, next year. I mean, this year, sorry. Yeah. We do want to show today, the, did they show the big shot? No, today. Because we already did this last time when it was here, right? I believe we did, I don't remember now. The trailer we have online, so move on. Yes, that's question. I was question. just about to ask you about Big Shark. Yes, you got your question. So, yeah. I will, I will ask again, I will ask you again. So, it's a project where I'm working on it for past two years. It's uh, Big Sharks, related to Shark, take over New Orleans, Louisiana, and uh, we are rescued from with Rex is turned love and actor. So you will be see, seeing, so you can see the trailer the, online. Move on, yes. 
Tommy, if you were a type, if you were a type of sandwich, what type of sandwich would you be? If you are sandwich, can you eat the sandwich or not? Move on, next question. <laughs> That's good. Very wise. But my mom, she always say, be nice, be nice, especially to girls. So let's respond to our beautiful question. What sandwich can I be? Maybe ham with the cheese? <laughs> Well, <laughs> All right, Tommy, your yes. question, but realistically, What's your mom's yes, how realistically, many fourth, yes. How many fourth graders could you take on in a fight? Say again? How many fourth graders could you take on in a fight? Maybe five, move on, next question. Okay. <laughs> All right, Tommy. Yeah, hey, um, how you doing? So, uh, I remember that you had once done a, uh, a Joker, and uh, I was wondering if you'll ever reprise that role. I love it, your question. Yeah. If you girl, I would kiss you, but you're not girl. Oh. But <laughs> thank you. The fact remain the same. Yes, definitely good question. You know what? I always say what comes around goes around, right? Yes, I want to be a Joker. I don't want to criticize anyone, but maybe Tommy Wazo, I do the third party, could do better job than last j Joker. That's all oh, I can say. Yeah. I hate criticizing actors, but I like to work with emotion, you know what I'm saying? To share feelings, emotion, and I want to relate to, to people, basically, right? But sometimes, well, oh, don't put me in the spot right now. <laughs> Move on, next question. Tommy, I want to hey. know, where'd you find all your belts? TommyMazzo.com, partially because I, one lady, a girl, she gave me this, so. Yeah. One of them, but usually go to tomwaza.com, but, but go in two months, okay, because we, we, we don't have too much inventory, but you can buy a jacket, you can buy whatever. Move on, next question, yeah. I design everything almost what I'm wearing, yeah, go for it. Hey, Tommy, this is hey. a little personal. Yes. But anyways, how's Just your sex life? Just ask whatever you want, I, I don't care. Who cares? Anyways, how's your sex life? Pretty good, I enjoy it, man. Have a good day. <laughs> yes. When is good, Best Friends 3 coming? Because the ending was wild. Okay, Best Friends, you have to talk to Greg Sestero, uh -huh. who is a producer. You have to talk to him. But, he may do it, who knows. I may do my Best Friend, but different style. Move on, next question. <laughs> Hi, Tommy. Hi. Uh, I was wondering, where'd you learn so much about vampires? Vampire? Oh, you better watch it, man. They come to your house tonight. <laughs> you may not sleep. I tell me. By the way, hold the one of this note right, right, right. about vampires. Do you know uh, they shoot? Uh, they shot here the movie. Do you know? Uh, one more time, boys. Here you go. If you didn't see it, watch again. It's a pretty cool movie. Move on. Hi, Tommy. Lost Pleasure Boys. That's the movie. Yes. Um, never spoken into a microphone like this before. So, so that's great. You have a good voice. You never. Thank you. My friend Steven, my friend Jacob. Hi, Steven, ben, Jacob. Yes. My friend Henry over there. And, and then my friend Jonah. Yeah. Jonah is in the crowd somewhere. Jonah is here, yes. Anyway. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice presentation. Um, how was it to work with uh, Tim Heidecker and Eric Werner? Oh, well, I didn't work with them actually. Oh, no, wait a minute. You talk about Tim and Eric. See? Yeah. Yes. Well, it's okay. We're not on the same page, but it's okay. Move on. Anything else? Thank you. Yeah, you're very welcome. All right, I just want to ask you one question really quickly. Yes. Are you real? No, I'm not unreal. I'm unreal. Move on. Next question. <laughs> of course, I'm real, man. I'm here. It's all right. But sometimes it's surreal. But that's what I want to say. Yes. What was the best part about life in the bayou? Oh, life? General speaking? Oh no, in, in the bayou. What do you mean by that? When, when you spend your time in the bayou, what was the best thing about that? What do you mean by that? Just give me specific, because it's, to I, me, I'm a very complex guy, so I have to be much more specific. Okay, just like, what was the main way you had fun while you were in the bayou? Okay, now we understand you. So when you was a little drunk, maybe, tipsy, or you was normal. So I can be, I, I, I can always have fun without drinking. But sometimes you go somewhere else, it's depending on your imagination. So now I can see like there, nice beautiful beach, you know, you you can be naked, whatever you want to do, have fun. Move on, next question. Right? Thank you. 
So I relate to everything. Let's put it this way. <laughs> yes. I was just inquiring if we could see the windows into your soul. Because right now they're closed. But yeah. <laughs> well, maybe someday you will. Move on next part. Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. Hey, Tommy. Uh, I've been wondering this for a while. And I know. I know yeah, I'm not go. the only one. Wondering. Sorry, I, I'm, we didn't listen. Go for it. From the scratch. Wait. Uh, I've been thinking about this for a long time, and I know I'm not the only one. How big are your hands, man? Who like, cares? <laughs> as long as question. You know what he's saying, right? Never mind about that. Move on. I, I was told that was the last question, so okay. I think we're all very curious to uh, know about this. Will you ever create a sequel to The Room? Someday, but before we do that, you know what we're doing? We're working, actually I'm working constantly about it. On it, we actually put the room on Broadway. Remember, not off Broadway, on Broadway, okay? Remember the difference, you know the difference. Uh, so yeah, definitely we did play called The Room Musical on Broadway. Uh -huh. Okay, on that note, guys, thank you very much for coming. I love you all, have fun, and we'll see you next time, okay? Thanks a lot, thank you.